Okay, ad nauseum, I, I've heard this over and over, how intertwined you two are, how cosmically connected you are to the man. It's amazing teamwork. Yeah, it was almost like we were finishing each other's sentences. Yeah, like one mind and two voices. Weird. I, I love this fabric. You know, it it, it holds, holds the, the pattern, pattern so nice. nice. I, <laughs> I think that the flow actually is effortless. <laughs> It's this closeness and connection that you have with Thomas. It's almost like he could speak without saying any words. Not to wear. I love that you brought that on all the way down. I mean, it really helps the way that it... The way that it drapes. Exactly. Yeah. We've always been able to create wonderful designs together, but recently it's like, um, I don't know, it's like we're one mind. I mean, either uh, I have a thought or, or she's sensing what I'm thinking, I'm sensing what she's thinking, or we don't even have to really communicate out loud. We just know what each other are, are going after. It's pretty cool. Jeez, it sounds intense. It's so great seeing two people connect the way they do. It's like they totally get each other. They certainly do. I don't know where I can do that. Eric, Sunday, Rich, those, those are amazing designers, but it never was successful because no one has understood me the way that you do. I'm not thinking. I'm feeling, and I have never felt a connection like this before. Who and Hope were great together. So in sync. You know the line so well, exactly what will speak to me. Well, even better than I know sometimes. The adjustments made to the halter. Honestly, I no, think Thomas, the adjustments were great. They were fine. You actually read my mind like you always do. No one, and I mean no one, shares Hope's vision the way you do. It communicates to us. You get her and her line better than anyone. It's like, oh, when we design and when we create together and you just are able to finish my sentences, it's like you know what I'm thinking before I even do. You know what I want before I even know that I need it. You know, I think you might have stumbled on our next collection. I think you're right. Garbage sheath. You know, Zinde suggested that we do thicker braiding. To give it more structure? Yeah, but I'm thinking maybe just on the sides. Yeah, so it doesn't break, break up the flow. Me in the dark. <laughs> I swear, Thomas, sometimes you can read my mind. Stars, the moon, I need to go ahead and order some room service. Oh, good call. I am starving. Yeah, that uh, pitch meeting kind of worked up an appetite. Miswa salad, right? <laughs> yep, yeah, you know me so well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's so good to have you back. No one gets hope for the future like you. Am I right? He certainly does. I know him better than anyone. Exactly what I want for the collection. I know. Yeah, you get it. I do. So what do you think? Should we take the hemline up a little bit, or do you want to leave it where it is? You know what? I think in order to show off the shoes, we should bring up the hemline in the front just a little. Of course, that was, uh, that was my instinct as well. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome, because you get to see just how connected and in sync your daughter and I are. Hi.